UNHCR is today reiterating its appeal to all parties to ensure safe passage for convoys delivering humanitarian aid to civilians inside Syria. This is in light of the current security environment in which several convoys have had to be cancelled or delayed. Uh, the effects are that many Syrians are deprived of vitally needed aid. According to the UN's latest estimates, at least 3.6 million people are internally displaced in Syria. In addition, there are around 5.5 million people in need. UNHCR is working with government and non-government parties to see that aid does get through. However, right now, assistance is still only reaching a fraction of those in need. The clear problem is insecurity. Uh, that, above every, anything else, uh, is making it difficult for us all to uh, get aid through. But then are the complexities of trying to negotiate passage uh, for uh, aid convoys in, and that requires negotiations with um, uh, often a large number of uh, uh, actors. Um, so it's simply a very, very difficult environment. We nonetheless need to find ways to get more aid to more people. Uh, there's no other way around it. It's not the first time that we have gone through uh, this kind of exercise of uh, relocating our staff, bringing them back to the country when there is a slight improvement and when the security situation permits. So we have done it several times before and managed to keep up our operation up and running and even expand. So uh, we are concerned about the increasing uh, violence and deteriorating security situation on our operation, of course, with road closure, with circle of fighting and uh, of course, uh, regarding the reduction of staff, we are only moving some of the function who can perform and operate remotely from outside the country. Really, there's nowhere where we're satisfied that sufficient aid is getting through at the moment. Uh, that's the issue. Uh, uh, we have to find ways with all the parties on the ground there to make sure that more aid does get in.